Hey guys, it's Mrs. Shannon and I am going to be out today with a sick daughter. So you are going to be um, responsible for going through the notes. This is kind of like a flipped classroom in which you guys are going to get all the notes and all the background information. And tomorrow when I come back in, we are going to start applying it, which means that you actually do need to do the notes. We're not going to go back over it. I'm not going to do this all over again. Um, and so we're going to start today. A lot of you have done this. It's the Ed Puzzle. The Ed Puzzle is the one on protein synthesis. And you need to have a 70%. And I'll be watching to see um, where you're at. And if you need me to reset it, just send me a message. Also, either while you're doing it or after you finish it, I want you to take notes. I want you to take notes on page 84 to 85. Now, this is actually the bottom of um, the note section. But... Uh, on lab station number one, there is um, a copy of the notes that you'll be taking. There's also tape and scissors there. Make sure it goes back at the end. Um, when you're looking at protein synthesis, the idea is that we keep talking about DNA and how important DNA is. And we talk about how it's the secret code and that every single cell has the same exact code. Well, we're going to be learning that, okay, the code is the same, the instructions are the same, but what comes out isn't always going to be the same. What's expressed or what is made is going to depend on the code and which genes, which parts of the code are actually going to be expressed. Now, to make any type of protein, regardless of which ones are being made, it goes through this process called protein synthesis. And the amoeba sisters will walk you through it, where the code is going to leave the nucleus via an mRNA um, molecule that kind of sneaks it out through the nucleus into the cytoplasm of the cell where the code is then translated into different proteins. And depending on which cell and what the needs are and a lot of other factors, you know, there might be proteins made for skin color or there's proteins made um, to direct uh, growth or there's proteins made to fight off infection depending on um, other things happening in the cell. But either way, the direction is going to come from the nucleus, be transcribed onto an mRNA that can escape the nucleus, go out into the cytoplasm where it's translated into whatever kind of protein needs to be made. Um, a big thing to realize when you're taking these notes or when you're going through a puzzle too is that the RNA, they're both nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. NA stands for nucleic acids. They have the same four letter codes, except in RNA, we do not use the letter T. There's no thymine. And so we use uracil instead. So whenever A would normally bond up with a T in DNA, if we're looking at an RNA molecule, we just put the letter U there. Um, and so that's the big takeaway on the difference with the code. It's not too fancy otherwise. Um, when you fill out these notes, every single number should have an answer in that box. Um, at the part up here, at the very top, the very first part that you do, it's going to go on page 84 and 85 of your notes. Um, 1 through 10, you're actually going to write a D inside the box if it's talking about DNA. An R inside the box if it's talking about RNA or a B if it's talking about both or write the word both. So I am single stranded. If it's DNA, you'd write a D there. If it's RNA, you'd write an R there. So that's what I expect in these bubbles. And then once you get down to question number 11, you're going to be filling in types of RNA here and then what they stand for down below. Um, finish up through 20, please. It's due by Friday, so you can use it on the weekly review. When you are done with this, there's one other thing due on Friday. So if you go back to your agenda after you finish the Ed Puzzle on protein synthesis and complete the notes, which get taped into page 84 and 85, you go to your CK12 assignment and practice. Now here's the deal with this. Just like on your other CK12s, it will be scored automatically. You have to get 10 questions correct. It's on protein synthesis. Remember the prefix sin, S-Y-N, means to make. And that's what we have that picture on the front wall for. Um, I told you this last time and the time before it. At the bottom of the questions, there is a reading and a video. Use this. It will help you. Um, people that do it score quite a bit higher. Um, it will explain what protein synthesis is. So it's another form of notes. Amoeba Sisters gives you the video look at it, gives you the very basic overview of what's going on in the really simple simple fashion. This goes through more details and it looks more like what you would encounter in a science te textbook. It is more science-y. Um, feel free to use Read and Write to read it to you or use Google Translate to translate it for you. And there's a video on at the bottom on this. 
When you are ready to take it, you'll just practice until you get 100% and make sure you click the blue turn in button. The turn in button will not show up until you've got your 100%. Um, I hope this helps clarify what I expect of you. CK12, Edpuzzle, and the notes for Edpuzzle are all due by Friday. We will not have any more time, though, in um, class itself. So please plan on doing this outside of class. You can come see me during advisory on Thursday or Friday if you need some extra time with the computer. Um, or if you have to have a private conversation, um, something's going on, you just need a little bit more time, you don't have internet at home, um, talk to me when I return about that, okay? I hope you have a good day, and I will see you guys on Wednesday.